Yes, this is Neo. I wanted to explain to you global warming. So, I figured I would try to explain it as simple as I can. So you brain-dead living zombies will understand. Okay. If uh if someone tries to charge you an extra tax for global warming, that's not good. That's not right. But it's not global warming that we're worrying about. It's global pollution. I don't know why they call it global warming. But, I mean, the whole thing is like a mind control lemming trick. But when Fukushima happens, the radiation that was released into the ocean and then probably goes up into the air and rains down and everything else and all the radiation that comes out of there, it probably doesn't make it hotter, but it makes it more polluted and toxic. So I don't believe in global warming. I believe in global pollution, toxification. If you look up water, uh, ocean acidity, or acid rain, or, or anything, that's toxic. So you may not believe in global warming, but do you believe in global poisoning? And like the, the BP oil spill, spilling a whole bunch of oil maybe it's not going to make it hotter but it's going to make everything more toxic it's going to make the ocean toxic the fish there toxic it's going to make the beaches toxic they're going to spray chemicals oil dispersing chemicals and who knows what that is gasoline or something you know So if I go out in my yard or something and I take radioactive material, oil, oil dispersants, garbage, and just toxic waste, biological waste, and I just pile it up in a little spot in my yard or something and then nothing grows there, there's no grass that grows there, there's no worms that live there, there's no bugs it's toxic, nothing lives there and, and, and I could only imagine if, if, a, if a bug, a worm did manage to live there, it would probably mutate 
and maybe through even some kind of a a adaptation of its environment if it started adapting to this toxic environment and so that's what I've understood my whole life is this is more like a toxic adaptation not, not only for animals this planet but but all life humans and everything and I mean I guess it gets better and worse but a lot of people would say they don't take part in that like you didn't help cause the BP oil catastrophe that you didn't have anything to do with it and I would say yes you played a role in the BP oil spill whether you know it or not and that's because you drive a car and you need gasoline so there's this thing called supply and demand and, and it doesn't matter if you don't have a choice and what kind of gas you buy or who you buy it from because just because you go to a different gas station it doesn't mean you ain't getting BP gas they just get it wherever it comes from and then they I mean I guess you could look that up but so I doubt just really stopping going to BP is, is really going to really change things much it's like have you ever thought about buying an electric car like a Tesla Roadster or the, the Fisker Karma I mean those are a little expensive but they do make a Nissan Leaf you ever think about that did you know uh, an electric car doesn't have a radiator it doesn't have an oil change it doesn't have a transmission so it never needs oil filters fuel filters time and belts spark plugs wires I mean it's probably the most simplest design there is batteries charging them Tesla developed wireless charging technology Tesla was a you know a lot of people think if you're smart you'll die rich it's like no Tesla was extremely smart and they suppressed his inventions to make money so you can't tell me that there isn't some kind of conspiracy with energy with pollution and even with you not making a conscious decision on what you may or may not your buying habits what you may buy or not buy gasoline how much you would pay for gasoline gasoline's four dollars a gallon would you consider an alternate fuel e85 diesel biodiesel get electric solar hydrogen fuel cell and I'll tell you no you're all lemming fucking zombies and that's why there will be global pollution because this is an idiocracy a dystopian Orwellian nightmare plagued by lemmings zombie useful idiots and it's a dystopia that's disguised as a utopia it's like a an amusement center 
but it's really like a a FEMA camp prison full of people that beg to be enslaved or something a, a little bit you know I'll go. 